it's Future Nurse K here, aka Kami K. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some nursing school must-haves. Stay tuned because I am going to be doing some clinical must-haves. But for this, I'm just going to be telling you guys what you need specifically for nursing school. So I'm going to tell you guys what has been getting me through nursing school, what I can't live without. If I didn't have these things, then honey, I don't know what I would be doing. I, 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 I just don't know, like... I probably be struggling to be honest if you haven't checked out my other videos check out my videos on how to pass your nursing school exams with the A cuz your girl been doing that don't mean a too too but <laughs> I've been doing that and also check out my latest video it was a unwind with me nursing school you stupid it was a unwind with me clinical edition at what I do at the clinicals so yeah, it seemed like you guys really enjoyed that. So if you guys want me to do more, then let me know. But anyways, let's jump right into this video because I don't want it to be too long. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you that you guys. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys today is my NCLEX book. Sorry y'all if y'all hear the rain, but in thunder, it's thundering honey. It's... Chill out. Chill out fam. You, you finna get your 10 seconds of time. You better get your 10 seconds of fame. Okay. Anyways, it's this NCLEX book. This is the 8th edition. I got I got this off of Amazon. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But when I tell you guys. Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys this. But the days that I procrastinate. And then like I really have an exam coming up. And I haven't studied. But it's like. What I'm going to do. I pull this out because basically what this does it summarizes important information out of my fund foundations book or my med search book so instead of me reading about 20 pages of book I can read like four or five pages of this and know what the entire chapter is about also this is an extra good way to for like a study tool this is also a great to do a study tool because it takes the most important things in life it takes the most important information that you need to know to pass your test for that particular topic and just be like here here you go this is what you need focus on this pay attention to this and also the writers of this is the people who write the English so that's a good tip you can also go to chapter four of this book and you can see how to bruh chill out you can go to chapter you can go to chapter 4 of this book and see how to test tape. Like, that was another tip that I think I gave, like, five tips in that, um, how to ace your next school exam video. This book right here, chapter 4. Chapter 4. So, the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is a de-stressor. I don't know if y'all can see this, but watch when I squeeze it. Relax. Calm down now. Don't stress. <laughs> this from like one of my one of the teachers like we had like a health fair not a health fair we had like a career fair and I got this from one of the nursing whatever I got this from one of the fairs and this is really really good when you just need to squeeze the life out of something you really want to choke somebody honey honey y'all y'all probably buy stuff like this off of Amazon if you're the type of person that when you get um nervous or anxiety and you become fidgety or you need to touch something grab your stress ball grab you anything also there's also other ways to de-stress you don't have to you know use a stressor ball like i use this for fun but if i really want to unwind and de-stress which i am going to be doing an actual self-care video on here um of how you can like stress relievers um different ways to relieve stress my favorite way is to take a shower, not a shower, a bath with all the lights off, like some candles, play some music, and soak in the tub. Like, that is a very, very, put your bath on, put you some Epsom salt. That is a great way to distress. So, the next thing that you guys are going to need going into nursing school. Everybody... Ooh, I'm glad I wiped my stuff. Everybody already knows that you're going to need a stethoscope. But when you buy your stethoscope, a lot of schools don't tell you which stethoscope to get. They just say, you know, buy a stethoscope, whatever. You just buy the prettiest one, cause, and then, or you buy the least expensive ones. What I'm going to tell you guys is a good tip about a stethoscope. 
when you're paying for your stuff to scope read the reviews read how good of a quality it is read all of that because sometimes you can get a stethoscope because it's very pretty but it ain't worth the crap and you go putting it on a patient and you can't hear nothing or you getting false well I ain't gonna say false readers but it's not it's, it's just a crappy stethoscope or you could spend a whole bunch of money on a stethoscope that you don't even need because it's sometimes they have stethoscopes that's like specific for cardiologists and stuff like that you don't need all that you just need to hear the heart and the lungs and you're good so you could do litmus but this is actually a I guess an ad scope I don't really know what it's called um But this is a really, really good stethoscope, and it's pretty. I got this off of Amazon for a couple of couple of tens, and I really enjoy this stethoscope. It has, like, glitter all over it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, like, the chrome bell. But it's a really good stethoscope. But when you're buying a stethoscope, make sure that you're investing in something. Because I can use this stethoscope for when I actually become a nurse. So it's like, do you want to spend a little bit of extra money but get a great quality stethoscope? Or you want to go the cheap way out and then have to buy another one anyways? Alright, you guys. So the next thing that you are going... And also, I meant to tell you guys... If you if you have never taken blood pressure before, if you never used a stethoscope to take someone's blood pressure, I would advise that you buy a blood pressure cuff. Um, you can get them from CVS, Walgreens, and practice on people at home because blood pressure is one of the things that is just you either get it or you don't. So you need as much practice as possible. So I would definitely advise for you to buy your own blood pressure cuff and try to and try to get better with it. So the next thing that um, is a must have for nursing school is highlighters, highlighters and sticky notes. Now let me tell y'all, I don't really use, this was another thing that I got from the fair. I don't really use this. I use like the big highlighters, I think that's what they call it. Well, I don't know. But anyways, those are so, 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 so helpful because let me show y'all what I do. Hold on, wait a minute. So when we're taking lecture, whatever my teacher says, that is what I highlight. So when my teacher lectures us, I highlight whatever she says because she might not even discuss this. And if you got that highlighted, you're if you don't have anything highlighted, you gotta read everything. And most of the times the teacher says it's, it's important. So whatever she says that's important, I make sure I know it. If I want to read the other part as extra just in case to be on the safe side, I do that. But at least I know exactly what she said out of her mouth whenever I did this. And also, like, I do, like, quick notes ah, with the sticky notes, as you guys saw. Like, for this, I was talking about insulin. So I do quick notes with the sticky notes something that's like that she might say that's not in the book but it's she said it so I want to remember it so I just jot it down put on the sticky note and slap it on my book so the next two thing that I absolutely have to have in nursing school is my planner I was not a big planner person I used to love school supplies and I used to just buy planners just to buy it but I wasn't a big planner person I never used to use it but as you guys can see I'm not we're not in November don't try me y'all like you don't even use that thing as you guys can see I do use this planner uh hold on what the heck oh cuz I'm in March oh we was out of school this year anyways I do use this planner y'all and if you guys want to know how I organize my planner I do have a video out on my channel the link will be down in the description box below so the last thing that I'm going to be telling you guys there are a couple of other nursing school must have such as my watch um when you go well that's more so of a clinical must have so just stay tuned for that video but um as far as nursing school nurse must haves um other than your books of course what is this you ask this is not no composition book this is my ipad so i have an ipad pro that i've had for like a couple of years now my ipad i use this to edit on my youtube videos and stuff like that but that's what's the point for nursing school it's this app that is called notability i'm sorry about my ring light y'all but it's called notability and you can down wait 
I can take notes on my iPad. So if I'm in class and I want to jot down some notes, but I don't have any paper or um, at one point in time, I became a paperless student, so I didn't use paper. Um, I only used my iPad. I was, I was able to download my books onto my iPad. So, but if you're going to nursing school, I wouldn't recommend downloading your books to your iPad. I would definitely recommend having a physical copy in your hand. But anyways, if you are one of those people that can, you know, have your books, iPad, I mean, Bert, what is it? electronical then okay yeah you can download to your iPad or whatever but it gives you that option when you want to buy your books but also for like I have like exam one can y'all see that I have like exam one and then I have all of my powerpoints that my teachers upload and I highlight them um so yeah y'all my this is cleared out because we're about to start a new semester so that's why y'all don't see too much of anything in there but yeah you guys i download all of my powerpoints to this and everything like that so if you guys want more videos and more information on how to become a paperless student if you guys just want to go that route or just tips more about my ipad pro then i would be happy to do that for you guys just comment down below but anyways you guys this was a short little video of nursing school must-haves there are a couple of other nursing school must-haves so if you guys want me to do a part two then i would definitely do that for you guys i hope i'm not talking too fast but anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe or follow my main channel at call me k follow all of my social medias and until next time guys 